All right, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's Michigan, and I have a replay for you in a vehicle that I have been trying for about a month, maybe a little bit longer, to get a game in to showcase just how terrible this vehicle is. Now, the game you're about to see is vastly better. This is probably the 1% of games for this vehicle that at least I had. Now, the vehicle in question here is the T23E3 Tier 7 American medium tank. Now, a lot of you may be wondering what this tank is. You've never seen one. This tank was a tank that you could build in Clan Wars, and uh, at the end, you know, after you built all the parts, you would get the vehicle. Now, why is this tank so terrible? So, it's built on a Pershing chassis, however, it has none of the armor of, of the Pershing. The turret is garbage, the tank is fairly slow, but the biggest issue is the gun. Now, this thing is packing a 76mm, and if we take a look at the standard rounds here, 115 average damage. That's You're seeing that right. 115, not 150, 115 with 149 pen. Now, look at this. I'm putting in three shots, four shots in that Achilles, and I do 443 damage. I'm rolling for, look at that, 122, 102, 107. 112. Now, the reload is great. My reload is about 2.6 seconds, and it gives it a DPM of about, I think, 2600, 2700. The problem is, is that to rack up damage, you have to expose yourself for so long with no armor, and you're not small. So, I had to sit there in front of that Achilles for, let's see, 2.6, 2.5 seconds, let's just say for math. Seven and a half seconds, I had to sit out I didn't get spotted, luckily, in front, in this bush line, to deal 443 damage. A lot of other tanks, you could deal at least 250 in, you know, in instantly, and then be able to pull back. But instead, with this tank, you have to sit there and keep shooting. And that would be great if you had armor, but you don't have armor either. And you only have 1,050 hit points, so sitting here at tier 7... You know, a lot of these tanks are going to hit me for 320 plus, shaving off a third of your hit points. And that makes the tank almost unplayable. It's that bad. The tank doesn't have good camo. It doesn't have great ground resistances either, from what I've been able to tell. So, you can see here, I'm running all premium consumables. Just anything I can to improve this vehicle's statistics. Now here, I have to do something that I hate doing, but you have to do in this vehicle, which is take a gamble. If the tank gets rushed, it do, it'll get rammed. It doesn't have, I think it has 76 millimeters of frontal armor. It's terrible, and the turret is probably pretty similar. So you can see there, I'm going to get spotted by that Skoda T25, and now you're going to see another problem with the, the same problem with the low alpha. Is that now I'm trying to trade against a tier 6. I'm in a tier 7. It's a good tier 6, but I'm in a tier 7 medium tank. I should not be having problems against a tier 6 here. But since I only hit for 115 damage, it means that I have to constantly poke out against this vehicle. The aim time, I should mention, isn't anything to be proud of either. I think it's like 2.2 seconds. So you're going to see here, I'm lucky that I'm bouncing shots from this scope. There you can see there's another one. Look at that roll. 96 at tier 7. The only tank that I can think of is the AMX 1357, but that has an auto loader. Now I'm going to sit here and try to trade against an E25, which has the same reload as me, but hits for 150. And has better camo and better armor. So now I've actually been able to do 775 damage here. But based on the amount I've been shooting, you'd think it would be a lot more. I've blocked 120, spotted 860. Now I'm going to use this other side. I Both of their light tanks are dead. So, I believe so. Maybe that Chaffee. That T-37 is still up. And now I'm going to start firing against this M-43. Look at this. Two. Three. Three shots, and I don't kill the Artie. At Tier 7, I don't kill the Artie. It's incredible. Rolling for 119, 111, and 122. It's, again, it's infuriating, and it's frustrating to play this vehicle. You have decent gun depression. I believe it's 8 or 10 degrees. But it, when your turret is so weak, it's a real struggle. Now, you can see I'm going to spot this GW Panther. And 
I know it's going to take me at least four shots to kill him because I rolled for 115. If I rolled for 120, I should be able to kill him on average 50% of the time. But I'm just not even going to shoot him because I know the E25 is in the bush. I don't know where that Achilles went. And now that we spotted the Udez and the Super Conqueror, um, I, you know, I didn't know where they were before. And unfortunately, we're going to take out that Artie, but I'm not going to get anything off of it. Now I'm over here trying to engage this E25. I'm going to come around the corner, come around the corner. Somewhere, that, that shot goes somewhere. I'm lucky to not take a hit from that E25. These bounces that I'm getting are going to really save me. And now I'm, I just decide, I'm out. I'm not dealing with this. It looks like the VZ and the TS-5 are going to handle that Tiger too. The Hellcat can sit here. But meanwhile, we have a, a Super Hellcat, or an enemy Super Hellcat, who's charging down our artillery. And the only thing over there we have a ja is a Jackson, and he's a one-shot for everybody else. Now I've got a problem because I, I'm a two-shot for both those tanks, and they both have far better camo than me and way better alpha. So I have to sit in a bush. I cannot trade. Um, I can't push. So I have to just sit here and cross my fingers that maybe I'm able to spot them for this Jackson. I start loading HE because of that super Hellcat, but it should be noted, as you're about to see, just because you hit a Hellcat for 20, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to get it. Now, luckily, I roll for 201. Let's look at these HE rounds. 38 pen for 185 damage. Is that really worth it? 185 damage HE round? That's terrible. The Udes is going to finish off the Jackson. So that's good. However, um, th sorry, that's not good. The enemy Udes does. Now I take a hit from the Udes, bounce that shot. And now I'm just struggling to get in cover. You can see the horrible bloom there. I get underneath. And I'm safe from the Udes. I'm going to try and work this bush. Unfortunately, I'm going to fall down. And all of a sudden, I start taking hits from an E25. What? Like, where the hell is that thing? There's another shot. Is the E25 blind firing me? I'm not lit. Where's the E25? The Hellcat spots him. Look at the aim time. Look how just terrible it is. I'm going to aim. That shot actually goes high, but still hits the E25, and the VZ is going to finish him off. We're up by three tanks here, and 1,300 hit points. Now, I'm going to work this bush line. Where's the Udez? Where's the Udez? The RE are safe now. I should be able to spot that Udez unless he's already gone around, and he's on cap. With a minute 35. Now, we have two tanks heading to cap, but neither of them are quick, and they finish off the VZ. Now, there's just one tank left. So, this looks like it's an easy win. But it's not that simple. Because that TS-5 and that VZ are going to take a while to get to cap. So I'm going to work this bush line and see if I can't spot this Udez for the RD. Unfortunately, I get spotted through the bushes. I take a big hit there from the Udez for 291. Now I'm a one shot. So now I can't play this game. I'm trying to tell the RD where the shot came from. But they're not too keen to blind fire. The M44 really wants me to get rid of this Udez. And with 59 seconds, we still have two tanks getting on. We're not even on cap yet, and in fact, they still have to go up an upslope. The TS-5 is taking a while. All we have is two already, and neither of them are going to get over here in time. So now we've got a really interesting situation, which means the cap lies on me entirely. There goes the arty to either reset this or spot them, or the arty's going to have to blind fire. So now I'm going to try a different approach, and I'm t I'm asking the arty, are you ready? I believe. I should come up and chat. So 26 seconds, I realize with one tank gone, yep, I ask, ready, uh, is already ready? Both telling him, and I'm saying, I'm going to rush him. So with 19 seconds, it doesn't matter. I have to rush this. Now I'm lit. Where's the Udez? Where's the Udez? Why isn't he shooting me? He's looking for me. I'm weaving quite a bit. I'm weaving. Where are you, Udez? Is he trying to line up his shot? He hits my track, and now I'm going to get around behind him. Look at this, there's one shot, there's another shot for 110, two cap points reduced, and that finishes off that tier 8 tank. I'm not sure why he didn't shoot me initially. We are incredibly lucky that game. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. Alright, I finished with a first class mastery badge, spotter, fire for effect, defender, and steel wall, believe it or not. Finishing with 2,228 damage, almost 1,100 base experience. I fire 32 shots, 32 shots, 
19 hits, and only 2200 damage. That right there goes to show you. Uh, almost a thousand of it was from um, a thousand or 300 meters. Not much there. Blocked 745, but I took a lot of damage, hence the steel wall. And 1100 assist, also getting 100 total base defense points. Still made 62,000, uh, almost 63,000 credits, despite having all premium consumables. Which is odd, I'm not sure why, because I thought I was running food there. Um, anyway, would I recommend this vehicle? I'm sure you can already figure that out. Absolutely not. If you're a tank collector, fine. But this tank is just unplayable. It's infuriating to play, and it's not enjoyable. I've been playing this just to get one. I like reviewing odd tanks, um, especially the ones that are more on the rare side, just to kind of showcase them and... You know, something that maybe you haven't seen before rather than just defend a replay all the time. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got any questions about this tank, maybe my equipment loadout, if I didn't go over that, you know, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought of this. I'd love some feedback on my video. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.